Clare House came into being as an idea uh, based on a very particular experience I had uh, one day in 1987. I was coming down to the Muni after work one day and there was a woman there on the corner asking for money and there was a little boy with her who was two. It struck me so much how different their lives were and it could have been my son there. And at that moment I felt I could not walk on. I couldn't just give her some money and forget that child. And um, I said I had to do something more than that. I came up with this idea to build this supportive community for families where there would be housing and childcare and services and they could be nurtured and taken care of and really move their lives in a different direction. And that was the seed for Clara House. Compass Clara House opened in December of 1994. It's a very successful transitional living facility in San Francisco that provides housing for 13 families for up to two years. Residents receive intensive case management, on-site childcare, mental health services, as well as employment and educational training assistance. They're very helpful whenever you need them. They're here to hear if you have any issues. And they also, they're always there for you. Like, they're, everybody's just for each other. Like, you can trust people here. Alicia lives at Compass Clara House and just recently turned 16. Alicia and her younger brother Edwin were reunited last summer with their mother Berta, who is a Compass Family Services client and has lived at Clara House with her three-year-old daughter since July of 2013. I didn't have a lot of parental supervision, um, and so I just kind of fell by the wayside, and nobody really did anything about it. It just, it just happened. Alicia's mother, Berta, is 35 years old and was living on and off the streets struggling with drug and alcohol issues for 20 years. When she was 14 years old, she began to avoid staying at her family's home. Berta's father was an alcoholic and was physically abusing her mother. I was rarely at home, you know, and because home just wasn't a good place to be for me when I was a teenager. The vast majority of our families also come from backgrounds where they've experienced a great deal of trauma, maybe generations of trauma and instability. Our goal is to help them to stabilize, to address the issues that made them homeless in the first place, to help with uh, just basic living skills that some of us might take for granted, to help with employment, education, um, pretty much any area where a family um, can be supported so that they can become more self-sufficient, more stable, more healthy, um, more happy. Berta was desperate for help for herself and for her children. She struggled in other programs before she found Compass. It took one year of counseling, recovery work, parenting classes, setting goals, career planning, and gradual visits with her children before they were eventually reintroduced into her home full time. People can change. Like, if they put all their effort into it, they can be a better person than they were before. Berta's determination and hard work is paying off. She was chosen for a 10 week training program with UCSF to become a healthcare administrative assistant. Now she is in a paid internship program at their China Basin facility. You know, I, I feel safe here. I feel cared for and loved here. Me and my kids, you know, what more could you ask for? Alicia attends John O'Connell High School in San Francisco's Mission District and maintains a 4.0 grade point average. With the help of Clara House staff, she applied for and was selected to participate in an internship with Enterprise for High School Students. After everything she's been through and she can still, you know, just keep pushing forward. I'm sorry. That to me is in itself. I mean, that's just like already, you're, you're already accomplishing so much, you know, by not giving in to what other people are doing. You know, I always tell her that and I just want her to succeed. I want her to want more, you know? I don't want her to just settle. I want her to want more out of life and to do something positive with her life. Berta is set to graduate from Compass Clara House this summer. Alicia has her sights on attending college and she's interested in becoming a pediatrician. And I think that's really important uh, for a program like Clara House to be client-centered. 
to really be respectful of families, to listen to families, to care about families, and to really care about their outcomes and what they want in their lives.